The recent loss of the Chicago Sky to the Seattle Storm on Sunday evening has had a significant impact on the WNBA standings and the Rookie of the Year race. With the Sky's 8-12 record, the Indiana Fever have now jumped ahead of them, taking the coveted 7th spot in the standings with a 9-13 record. This shift in positioning is crucial, as the 7th seed is seen as the cutoff for playoff contention in the WNBA. This change in the standings has sparked a flurry of discussion and debate among WNBA fans on social media about the Rookie of the Year race between Caitlin Clark of the Indiana Fever and Angel Reese of the Chicago Sky. When the Sky were narrowly ahead of the Fever in the standings, some analysts had suggested that Reese's dominance should put her in the lead for the prestigious award. However, with the Fever now jumping ahead of the Sky, experts are now indicating that this officially makes Caitlin Clark the favorite for Rookie of the Year. Fans have been quick to point out several key factors that have contributed to this shift in the narrative. Firstly, Clark's historic performance on Saturday, where she became the first rookie in WNBA history to record a triple-double with 19 points, 13 assists, and 12 rebounds in a stunning upset win over the league-leading New York Liberty, has further bolstered her case. Meanwhile, despite Reese's impressive streak of 13 consecutive double-doubles, which she extended in the sky's loss to the storm, her team's drop in the standings has seemingly overshadowed her individual achievements. The consensus among analysts and fans is that the Fever's leap ahead of the sky, combined with Clark's standout performances, have solidified her status as the leading candidate for the 2024 Rookie of the Year award. This shift in the standings and the perceived impact on the Rookie of the Year race has sparked intense discussions and debates within the WNBA community as they eagerly anticipate the continued showdown between these two exceptional young talents.